the doctor the the store thing for itself and just the attention and focus you guys had at the start of the game and how he was able to get what happened. Uh, it was really big. It was a good start for us. You know, after last game, I told you, man, we don't like losing two in a row. So we just want to come with, you know, a lot of energy and effort. And, you know, we did that to start the game. And, you know, they had parts of the game where it felt like they were pushing back. And then, you know, we rebuttaled again. So it was a good game for us. I'm curious in terms of just the defense in terms of getting out in transition and getting and turnovers and, and defense to stop out. Significant with that in terms of getting you guys out in um, I mean, really important. I mean, obviously, we know what, you know, Brown's been doing as of late, you know, so we had a key on him and, you know, he's still got it going a little bit. But, you know, trying to make the other guys do it and, you know, just showing a lot of attention there and using our length and our athleticism as as our advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Is that part or anything? Nah, that's what's going to happen anyways. I just think it's funny. You know. Why do you think it's funny? It just is. I know what you're trying to do to win, but I'm just yeah. <laughs> no, nah, it's just all the ifs. And, you know, if if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. Yeah. If my auntie had some between her legs, she'd be my uncle. You know, it's, it's a lot of ifs in this game. And, you know, you look at history along the lines, like there's some something that comes up for every team during every season. So, you know, instead of just taking the high route and going, you have to make a comment like that. It's kind of funny. Money even took four games, like, well, Christmas hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, Money mentioned there being a high level of carryover from the good film session yesterday. What were you seeing as far as the way guys were moving towards you when you were getting blitz this time around compared to maybe Friday? Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we, we looked at it in film and you know, just finding the opening spots. And, you know, I told you guys how to do a better job of getting off the ball earlier so, you know, the next player can attack the the disadvantage, you know, after the double team. And, you know, I think they tried that a little bit early, but, you know, there's a, there a lot of things open. I think we had six or seven threes in the first quarter. And, you know, everybody's a threat on this team. And, you know, I trust everybody. So it's, it's easy for me to get off the ball. Some of his most efficient basketball since the All Star break. What have you seen from him? Just how automatic he is down low and from the mid range. I mean, his his touch is just phenomenal. Um, something that I'm inspired by, and, you know. And he does it so quick. He catches it in that pocket and he gets it on the rim. Um, he's just progressing that, you know, in that aspect of his game so well. Um, especially when there's like a low man there and he catches it and. You know, he used to bring the ball down a lot and guards be able to get their hands on it, but he's done a good job of catch high, keep high. And, you know, I told him he is, you know, one of the best touch in the league. Just put it on the rim. If you miss it, you'll get it back. So, you know, he's been doing an incredible job with that. There was that one where, where you were in the corner, threw it up to him for the lob. I think you kind of ran off the screen, caught the ball, threw it yeah. up to him. You must feel more confident throwing it to him than maybe when you first came in. Yeah. Um, and that's part of progression. That's part of learning. <clears throat> um, I mean, I thought he was going to come down with that one and lay it up. He turned in midair and still dunked it. So, you know, just the natural raw talent and athletic ability that he has, you know, it's something that, you know, you don't see too often in this league. Before you were playing the first quarter, I think you guys were up by 30, and there was a defensive breakdown, and you kind of let out of the band, and you went back up the court. Is that an example of the standard you're kind of setting for yourself? What, what, what situation? The defensive breakdown, sometime you were up by 30. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, man. We, you know, we want to lock into to the defense end. You know, we hold each other accountable on that end, and you know, we're never playing to score. You know, we're playing for a championship, and we're playing for for playoff basketball. And you know, we've learned that those little moments and little slip ups, if you if you let them go by without saying anything, you know, it can it can bite you later down when when it hurts the worst. Um, and we're hollering out all de defensive team for a lot of our guys, Jay, DeAndre, Mikel, myself, Chris. You know, we all feel like, you know, we can be on those teams. And, you know, historically speaking, you know, the best team in the NBA usually has had a couple or few guys up there. So, you know, we take a lot of pride in it. But uh, Lonnie said that you're one of the 
of the best two way players in the league right now. Have you personally been working on something on the defensive side as well? Yeah, I mean, like I said, we hold each other all accountable. You don't want to be that guy. You know, I take a I take a lot of pride in it. Um and I always have. Um I mean, I think there's a lot of guys in this league, really talented guys that score the ball, make plays for a lot of people, but you know, the list is smaller when you talk about people that are doing it on both ends, you know. So, you know, I want that re- reputation and you know, I'm gonna prove it every night. Definitely one thing I know is just the coaches talk about in practice about that mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was a it was an honest practice. It was an honest film session. Um, that's why I love this team, man. We lose a game. We act the end of the world for us. It is, man. As much as we say, you know, we want to keep our, our gym the same with wins and losses, we lose, man. It sucks. Um, and you can feel it. We have a saying, you know, the food don't taste the same, man. You know, we live by that, so. You know, when we lose one, it feels like we lost five in a row. And, you know, we, we just don't want it to happen again.